Oita. Now I'm in Oita for a very special reason. I'm actually going to be going to stay with a family who lives and works on a farm. So this is called a farm stay and in Japanese it's no haku. So I'm going to be participating, I'm going to be enjoying no haku with this family and having a good time. I brought oh, lots of stuff, got my luggage with me because this place like you can't really treat it as a hotel because I'm going to be staying with the family, working with the family. So I've brought my own towel, my own toiletries, pajamas, everything. Nothing like a usual hotel. I'm going to do it all myself with the family. Also, I'm here with a very special person. I'm here with Shioni! Yay! Yay! We're also here doing some Tokyo Creative stuff as well. But luckily, I get to experience this on my own channel with you guys. So let's go meet our family. Yeah. Our ma and pa. <laughs> let's go! Oh, also, heads up, uh, the family that we're staying with and a lot of families that do this kind of experience might not speak that much English, but I think it's all part of the experience, right? Mm. Sometimes uh, you do actually get to have a translator, like a, a human translator come with you, <laughs> but it's probably good if you do this kind of experience to have translation on your phone or have a little device to bring with you, something like that. Hey, I forgot to mention when I first filmed this video, but this video is sponsored by Tourism Oita. Hi! Hi. Hi, welcome. Hi. My, my name is Kanji Adachi. So Adachi-san is the person who is welcome to his place. Oh, he's taking my bag. Oh, he's running with my bag. He took my bag. Adachi-san. He's so genki. I think it's probably because of all the vegetables. So he grows sweet potatoes and we're going to be eating a lot of vegetables tonight and we're going to be trying a dish that I've never tried before. So it all sounds like really exciting stuff. So we've come to the Adachi house and there's, uh, I, I don't even know how to express myself. There's so much going on. <laughs> there's so many antiques and the house is beautiful yet it's huge, but there's so many beautiful things to see. And we've been taken to this room where we're going to be eating dinner tonight on a hearth. Have you guys ever said hearth or hearth? Hearth out loud. I've never said it out loud. I feel like I've only ever read it. I'm only going to be staying at this house for one night and then tomorrow I believe I'm going to a completely different house. Actually Oita has over 280 houses that do this kind of thing, this, this farm stay. Now it's kind of confusing with the word farm stay because not all of the places are farms but they are all in these kind of farming communities and farming towns but each house is different. Some people might not be farmers but there is a lot of greenery and farms surrounding it. There's a lot of variety as well. Some of them are near the ocean, some of them are in the mountains. It's just, there's heaps to choose from. Another thing, uh, this kind of experience has been going on for a long time, but it's been for Japanese people. So a lot of Japanese people will come to the countryside and do like a farm stay so that uh, you can bring your kids as well and the, your kids can get back in touch with farming and nature if you live in the city. And also with this kind of thing, you can get a taste of what it's like to live on a farm and live in this kind of community without making a huge move to, to the countryside. So I think it's a really good system. I've been given some gloves and we're gonna go and pick some vegetables. I'm gonna take the car because it's a bit far away, but I'm gonna pick some daikon, I think. I haven't picked a vegetable in so long. I didn't know that daikon grew like half out of the ground. Wow, they're huge. <laughs> Look at the size of this. This is daikon. I had no idea that it grew out of the ground. I always thought it all hid underneath ground and then you pull the whole thing up. It's huge. It's massive. It's bigger than the size of my calf. I can't wait to pick some. We're going to be making dinner tonight with them. They're so big. Like, like from down here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Here I go. Yeah. First icon, if I can. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Big. Oh my god. <laughs> ja Jumbo, Jumbo. Jumbo. Oh, oh my oh. god. It's my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Same size as my leg. <laughs> <笑>ああ、<笑> たけで収穫するの初めてですか初めてです。今日はね、え、お母さんが、え、里芋の料理を作ってくれます。みんなで食べよう。はい、レッツゴー。私は初めてだった。ジャイアントダイコン。なるほど。はい、取ります。なんか
So lying in bed, I'm in futon. I've been tucked in by Mama Adachi. I'm going to sleep. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning guys. I slept way too well last night. Then we had breakfast and then we put away all of the futons and now we're on a walk. We're going around and seeing all of the farmland. Sorry I'm out of breath because I'm going up a hill. You guys know me. I think we've seen onions and daikon, kumquats, a type of citrus that is grown down here called kabosu, yuzu. There's so much. Okay, so this, this mysterious door in the hillside is actually a cellar where they keep uh, all of the produce that they're not going to use to make sure that it uh, doesn't rot because it stays the same temperature in here. <laughs> oh, sweet potatoes. <laughs> We in sweet potato. They cooked it for a really long time on the stove, so it's super soft on the inside and very sweet. So we finished our time at the Adachi family's Yasashi Jikan farm. It's been amazing, but we are moving on to the next place that they're going to take us. Bye! Arigatou gozaimashita! Thank you so much! Mata kite kudasai! So we're about to change families. I'm going to be going to stay with Kawano-san. And I don't know much about his farm. I think we're going to be making some stuff out of bamboo and going to be eating lots of tasty rice. So we'll just see how it goes. Hajimemashite! <laughs> All right, so it is my job at this household to make chopsticks and bowls for everyone for dinner. If I don't do it, we eat with our hands. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be making them out of bamboo, so I'm just about to learn how to do it, and the pressure is on. Let's do this. Oh, okay. That's the goal, yeah. I don't think mine are gonna look that good, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay. Right, I'm here. Oh, oh, that's so satisfying! Wow, I thought it would be harder than it was. Jump! <laughs> wow, that's so that's so fun. Oh! I'm gonna take my I tried to make the triangle base. Mm. Oh my gosh! Mm. I finished my chopsticks! Uh, he went and took them and put them in the sander or he sanded them down so they're very smooth now and they're so cute! Okay, so uh, I gotta go help make dinner now so I can't help make the rest of the, uh, the bowls and everything so I gotta go help make food.
cleaning the bamboo with the casing for rice. And we're rubbing all of the black on it. There we go. So we're just cooking, I'm helping out cook. Look how big this rice cooker is. Hand, hand for comparison. It's huge, biggest rice cooker I've ever seen in my life. It's so great. This is a great experience, but I want to just enjoy it. So I'll talk to you guys after dinner. Good morning everyone, it is the final day of this trip. I just woke up, had breakfast with everyone, got ready, and now we are going on a walk together and it looks amazing already. Run to the top. She running fast, but she ain't getting very far. <laughs> Look at her go. Okay, so this is our last meal, our last thing that we're doing at the house. We made some dangojiru, my favorite. I'm so excited to be able to make this again in Tokyo, so I'm gonna do my best. But yeah, this has been amazing, but I'm just gonna dig into the last meal before we head off. So, itadakimasu. Mmm, even though it's the same meal, it's such a different taste because it was made by two different people. All right, hey guys, we're just packing to go and I wanna show you guys all of the gifts I have received on this trip. This has been from two different houses. It's amazing, they're so generous. We have all of this rice, because they grow rice here. I've got the chopsticks that I made. I've got all my bowls and my cups. And I've also got all of the sweet potatoes and uh, satoimo from the last farm. So <laughs> I've got a lot. I wanna tell you guys a few things about Nohaku. So it's been the most casual and authentic interaction with like an experience that I've done in Japan. It's been really amazing and extremely unique. I've never experienced anything else like this in my time in Japan. And it's especially good for those with an adventurous soul that just want to try something a little bit new. Once again, thank you to Tourism Oita for sponsoring this video and this trip. It has been amazing. Anyway, we're gonna go say goodbye to the family and then I'll say goodbye to you guys too. And head on back to good old Tokyo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi. 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 We finished. It's over. Let's cut it. Let's cut it. It was so much fun. It was so cool. What, what was the most fun? That's tough. We did so many things that I'd never done before. Probably the bamboo, making the bamboo play uh, bowls and cups and everything. What about you? For me, dango jiru. Dango jiru. It was so good. <laughs> I'm gonna make it when I get home. It's ah. Oh. 
Never tasted anything like it before. It was delicious. Do you think you could live this kind of lifestyle? Yes, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe one day I could live like this. Ugh. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're interested in this kind of experience, please follow the links down below and you can try it yourself too. I really recommend it. It was so much fun. One of the best experiences I've had here in Japan so far. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or not like this. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you you in the next video. Janet! Janet. <laughs>